Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna do my best because, well, in case you can't tell, um, I've been sick and I'm still working on getting my voice back. <clears throat> but nonetheless, I would like a wreath for my front door and I'd kind of given up hopes uh, for doing that because I didn't wanna go out and buy anything. But then I was doing some organizing, trying to put stuff away and I found this wreath that I used previously. So I am just gonna pull everything out um, oh, I guess I did hot glue some of this. Well, I'm gonna pull it out. I'll pull off what I need to with the hot glue, use my hair dryer to heat it up if I need to, and we're gonna start from scratch here. So let me get all of this pulled off. I don't necessarily need the hairdryer to loosen it, but it is making it a little bit easier. All right, so that took me literally like a minute. I'm gonna try to pick off what glue I can, but anyways, you don't necessarily have to do that unless you're reusing an old wreath. You're just going to Start with a fresh wreath. All right, I didn't clean it all off, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead now and paint this. I'm just gonna use some antique wax and a baby wipe and stain this. It's not gonna be perfect because um, there's hot glue on the wreath form still, but um, that's okay. We're just going to brush this on and just give it more of a, yeah, a darker look. It will also blend in better with whatever I put on this. I am not a wreath person. I don't typically do wreaths, but I want a wreath for my front door. So we're gonna see what I can come up with. I found some greenery that I had that I forgot about that I picked up probably last year on clearance. So this wreath form I'm pretty sure is just from the Dollar Tree. Just to try to cover some of the inside pieces a little better, I'm just gonna go around with a paintbrush. I am not worried about getting every little piece but i do want to get a little bit more than i can get with just the baby wipe on my finger here you could also spray paint this if you wanted to like spray paint it white or red or whatever you want to do but we're going to be covering this thing pretty good with some greenery so i'm not all that worried about it All right, so I found all of these picks in my, I don't know, I just found them. I don't, they were in my closet. And they say Mainstays Holly picks. So I guess that's Walmart. Yeah, it's Walmart. And I don't know, I must've picked them up last year. I'm guessing I spent like 25 cents or 50 cents a piece on them. Um, so I'm excited. We're gonna try to make these, you know, into a wreath here. I'm just gonna keep adding things until it looks right, spacing things out best I can, and just going till it looks good to me. I'm adding hot glue wherever it feels like it needs it. And then I thought I wanted to add a little something else. I thought about adding in some red berries or something, but I decided to go for these silver jingle bells. And I just love how these came out. I only added a few, but just added those around. And then I'm gonna just fluff and glue and tuck until it looks good to me. 
And then I'm gonna pick out what I think the top of the wreath should be. And we're gonna make ourselves a little hanger. I'm going to use this wired jute cord from the Dollar Tree. The only thing with that is when you clip it, the jute cord wants to come off of the wire. So I just add a little bit of hot glue where I cut it off. And I'm just going to feed this through and attach it to the top for my little hanger. You could of course be adding a bow or whatever you want. There's plenty of better people on YouTube to give wreath tutorials. So this is just what I'm doing. So that does it for this wreath. I love how it came out and I just happened to have all the things I needed on hand to do this, which made me really, really happy. All right, so for this next DIY, I have this little pine cone pick. I actually picked this up at Hobby Lobby in their fall clearance. So it was originally $1.99. I probably, I definitely paid less than a dollar for it. It might've been more like 50 cents when I got it. Um, but I picked a couple of these up. They're kind of like plasticky, but they're pretty nice. And, but I, you can definitely pick up pine cones, pine cone picks, like various places, various times of the year. Um, you can also just use a real pine cone. And I'm going to use Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Fern, and we're going to give this a coat of paint. I am going to give a pretty good coat of paint, but it's okay if like every bit is not covered um, for sure, but you can do that however you want to do it. Um, I'm going to, on this part, on the, um, I don't know what you call the little parts of the pine cone, I'm going to just kind of paint, um, going in the same direction that they're laying. And I'm not worried about getting like all down in. I'm gonna focus mainly on the tips and then get, you know, a little bit, bit down in there, but you can do that how you want. So this is about the coverage I got. You can see if you look down here, there's a lot of brown from this direction. There's more green. And I'm actually gonna do two of these, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. So there's a lot of things you could do with these. You could add some snow, I'm not going to. Um, and there's a lot of things you could use for your base. I just have these little wood pieces. They, these are from the Dollar Tree, I've had these forever, but they sell these periodically, they're not a seasonal item. That's what I'm gonna use for the base of my tree. But like I said, there's a lot of things you could do. Um, I looked at a few different things that looked at a small little tapered candle holder that I thought about painting. But when I saw these, I just, I thought this was gonna be my best option. So I'm gonna trim these down. Wow, that went flying. These little wires are not little wires. They're pretty, they're pretty substantial. Golly. So I'm not, um, I didn't trim mine down super small. I wanted to give myself a little bit and I don't have any tools or little drill. You could do that. I'm just gonna use pointy scissors and see if I can't wedge a little hole in the center here. Of course, if you have a little drill, you could easily do that too. And that helps me know about how long my stem wants to be. I don't really want a stem um, to be seen because this is actually going to be our trunk and our base. So once I figure out how deep I can go with it, I will trim um, my stem down a little bit more. Now that I have my hole made and uh, my pine cone stem trimmed down so that it'll just fit nicely in there, I'm gonna fill that hole with hot glue and put our pine cone down in there. Oh my goodness, I love how these came out. They came out better than I expected. These will be nice little filler pieces on my shelves and could totally be used for the winter season as well. For this next one, we're gonna use this ceramic piece from the Dollar Tree. They've had these in different shapes. They're in the crafter square. They are not a Christmas item, but of course, looks like a good Christmas ornament to me. So I really wanted to do this one this year, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna take off the twine. I'm gonna try to just untie it so that I can reuse it. And I also have this tissue paper. I've used this in a couple of DIYs. I picked this up from the Dollar Tree and we are going to Mod Podge that on here. I'm gonna try to go slow 
and actually not get wrinkles. Um, we'll see. But if you get some, it's it's okay. I'm also going to try to go around the edges on this one so that the edges have the same pattern. So we'll just go here around the edges. I just think it will look nice if the pattern goes all the way, you know, on the sides. So. And I'm going to let this thoroughly dry before I do a top coat or trim any of this off. It's just very delicate. Just gonna rest this on this paint, paint bottle so that the edges can hang down while it dries. All right, this actually didn't take too long to dry. So we are going to go ahead and just put a nice thin coat over the top and the edges and then let that dry again. All right, now our ornament is dry, so I'm gonna just trim off the excess paper here. A lot of times I use sandpaper, but I don't know if I wanna do that with the ceramic piece or not. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so trimming it came out, came out nice, I like that. You could add some jute twine around the edge. I guess I could look at that. I don't think I, want to but let's look at it i do have a little bit of this thicker jute twine maybe i do like that i'll need to burn it down because this is a very very fuzzy piece be very careful that you don't burn yourself when it's really fuzzy the fire tends to travel a little bit more so it's probably best to do this over like i don't know the sink or something but we're living life on the edge and i'm just going to do that with some hot glue back through and re-thread our twine that it came with for our little hanger. As I am retying this knot, I am going to secure it with a little bit of hot glue just to make sure this doesn't come undone because I don't want this to fall and break. And I want to add just a little bit of embellishment. So I pulled out these picks from my stash. I thought this green um, was a nice similar green to what is on here. So I'm just going to attach some of these to the top. I thought about putting a little bow in the center, but I'm just gonna break off some of these little red berries and hot glue that to the center. And that's it for this little ornament DIY. That is it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you be a part of my little YouTube family. I enjoy sharing easy, budget-friendly DIYs with you here on this channel. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.